Hello everyone! Welcome to a new series for developers who are interested in developing with Experience Cloud and Lightning Web Runtime Sites. In this first episode, I will take you through what this series is about and what to expect in the upcoming videos. We will work together on digging through all the different things that you can and can't do with Lightning Web Runtime Sites. But wait, what exactly is the Lightning Web Runtime? And that's a good question. With our Spring 21 release, we published a new Experience Cloud template, the Build Your Own Lightning Web Runtime. This template was available exclusively for customers that use Salesforce CMS. And with the Summer 21 release, we made this template available for every Experience Cloud customer. And what is so special about this template? Compared to other provider templates, it is based exclusively on and for Lightning Web Components. No Aura Components. To power this new template, we are using a new server environment, the Lightning Web Runtime, or in short, LWR. This is also the same foundation that powers the store experience for our new B2B2C template. The Lightning Web Runtime is built into the core foundation of Experience Cloud. It is nothing that you would have to install or to maintain. And by building this new stack, we unlock new capabilities for you, our developers, when building with Experience Cloud. First, it is all about performance. Compared to Aura, we compile all the components at build time and deploy them statically to our CDN. Second, it is all about developer productivity. Not only is everything based on Lightning Web Components, it is also that you can style your experiences using design tokens. This gives you ultimate flexibility for refining the user interface as you need. Now this series is not about standalone examples. We actually built a full sample app for you. Meet AZ Insurance. This sample app has multiple experiences and different technology implementations. As we love open source, you can find all the source code on GitHub. Check out the description to learn more about this and all our other sample apps. Now let's begin with the marketing side. This represents the pure, unauthenticated customer experience on a website, pretty much like any B2B or B2C site. Then we provide an authenticated customer experience. Think of it where your customers would log in and see their personal data. Last, but definitely not least, is the agent experience. This represents a typical in-house portal as you would build it for your employees. Now, all these experiences are built with custom Lightning Web Components and work with data from a Salesforce org. Sounds intimidating? Great! Now let me walk you through some of the key highlights of this series. AZ Insurance built a customer-facing B2C site. There are a couple of elements I want to highlight here. We have a custom carousel built with Lightning Web Components. And the image assets of this component are powered by assets configured in Salesforce CMS. Next, we have a typical contact form. We are also using assets from Salesforce CMS here. What is special about this page is the data entry for the quote. This is a lightning record form, which allows you to submit data to a Salesforce org for an unauthenticated user. And as we're using custom styling tokens, we can customize fields and buttons according to our custom style guidelines. Now, when you look at the page, you see much more. The navigation as well as the footer are custom built and powered by data configured in Experience Builder. The page layout, which are header, main and footer, is also custom built. It is not only that you can use any custom Lightning Web component for your sites, it is also that you can ship custom layouts as you need. And all of this, plus how to build custom object and record pages, how to work with privileged scripts, and what you have to consider for your deployments using the Experience Bundle will be covered in the next videos. So, thanks so much for viewing and stay tuned. Never miss an episode by subscribing and turning on your notifications.